Didigaryo di Jokapu Senior National High School, Second Quarter, School Monitoring, Evaluation, and Adjustment, April to June 2021. School Profile Didigaryo di Jokapu Senior National High School with the school ID 302410 is situated at Barangay Kapagaw, Panitan Capiz. The school is 6 kilometers away from the district office and is approximately 1.2 kilometers away from Lacaron Dao Capiz. The school has a land area of 10,076 square meters, partially enclosed with concrete fence and a cyclone wire. It has nine buildings, one of which is JICA, donated in the year 1993 with 25 classrooms. Three are used as an office. The school also has a covered gym, which measures 180 square meter. The school has four hand washing and toothbrushing facilities, but all need repair. There are comfort rooms in every building, separated for male and female, five of which needs repair. The school has a landslide-prone area. The recent enrollment of 466, 141 of which is enrolled in senior high school, and 325 is enrolled in junior high school. The school's population for the past few years had been declining due to the presence of integrated schools in the neighboring barangay. The learner's classroom ratio is 26 is to 1. The classrooms were assured to be conducive for learning with the 1 is to 1 seat ratio. For the last three years, the school has maintained 0% dropout rate. The school's water supply comes from the rainwater catchment and a deep well supplied through an electric water pump and is also supplying the hand washing and toothbrushing facilities, which is a wash and winds project. The said facilities were also supplied with hand soap. Comfort rooms has toilet bowls and can accommodate learning learners with a ratio of 1 is to 19. There was also electrical supply powered by Capel. In the new normal setting, the school adopted modular print as a mode of learning modality. Students' self-learning modules were distributed and retrieved through their parents, guardian, as their facilitators of learning every Monday of the week. Teachers track the progress of students in different platforms and through home visitation if necessary. Safety protocols were observed during the distribution and retrieval of SIMs and LAS. At present, there were 32 nationally funded personnel, 25 of which for junior high school, composing one principal three, one head teacher four, seven teacher three, four teacher two, nine teacher one, and three administrative staffs. The learner-teacher ratio is 20 is to 1. There were 18 classroom teachers and 6 relief teachers. For the last 3 years, 100% of the staff had met the standards in terms of PPSD and they were trained according to their needs assessment. School MEA is a feedback and enhancement mechanism on effectiveness of the teaching and learning process to ensure the school is able to respond to the unique learning needs of all learners. This mechanism will allow the school to immediately work around the barriers preventing learners from going and staying in school. And it has the following objectives. First, to identify learners needing immediate and or unique assistance. Next, to ensure holistic response to problems affecting teaching and learning process, to document significant gains 
or stories and to spot delays in the program implementation. The school MAYAT team, Zero a Udekta, Principal 3. Joel J. Digoma, Head Teacher 4. And the 7 Curriculum Sport System. We have Melanie D. Tocampo for the teacher's concern. Mr. Froilan T. Ditoga, Materials, Facilities, and Equipment. For the ICT, or Information and Communication Technology, Loyal E. Bautista. Jocelyn D. Ebron for the assessment. Jan Vincent E. Delphine. School Leadership and Management. Eileen D. Vergara, Technical Assistance. And Mamela Grossa D. Bilog for the Community, Industry Relevance, and Partnership. Our school dashboard. SMEA Leading Indicators For the access Number of SARDO There is 0% recorded number of students at risk of dropping out for both junior and senior high school as of the third quarter of this school year. Number of temporarily enrolled. A total of five students were recorded as temporarily enrolled as of the first quarter of this school year. They are all temporarily enrolled under grade 11, comprising of four males and one female. Quality. Number of learners with failing grades. As of third quarter, all students, both in junior and senior high school, got a passing grade. Number of undelivered competencies for junior high school. For the senior high school, All the learning competencies from the most essential learning competencies or the MELCs for both the junior and senior high school for the third quarter has been delivered because the school has initiated the learning activity sheets which are not available in the DPID blank. Number of least learned competencies for the junior high school, Filipino and mathematics has the most number of least learned competencies. For the senior high school, Pagbasa at pagsuri ng iba't ibang teksto tungo sa pananaliksik and practical research 1 has the most number of least learned competencies in grade 11. In grade 12, the most number of least learned competencies were the research report and entrepreneurship. Governance. Both funds from OOE and donations has been fully utilized. Prioritize KPI number one. Number of SARDO Issues encountered There are parents who do not get the modules on the scheduled date. Action taken The teachers, advisors, distribute the modules at home 
between the covered feet. Distance from school or from whom to school affects the performance of the child. Action taken. Delivery of modules at home by the teachers' advisors within the week. Child labor. Action taken. The teacher advisors distribute the modules at home. Special consideration is given to the students through stretching of time in answering the activities. Prioritize KPI 1. Number of SARDO. Priorities. Maintain 0% of SARDO. Curriculum support system. Teacher. Characterization. Overlapping of activities. Proposed intervention. Identify the potential SARDO as early as possible for appropriate action. TA needed. Constant communication. From whom? Guidance counselor, school head, and advisors. And the day is year round. Materials. Characterization. Availability of learners' modules. Proposed intervention. Printing of learners' modules or LMs ahead of time in the covered quarter taken from the link. TA needed. Creation of teacher initiative blasts or LMs in lieu of the delayed LMs. From whom? School head, subject teacher, LR, and subject coordinators. And the date is year round. Curriculum support system, ICT. Characterization, lack of communication devices. Proposed intervention, home visitation. TA needed, networking, from whom, school head, advisor, or GC. New date, year round. Curriculum support system, assessment, characterization, difficulty of learners to grasp the skill needed. Proposed intervention, the subject teacher will devise simpler assessment. TA needed, easy item test, but milks aligned. From whom? School head, subject teacher, and advisor. And the date is year round. School management leadership, characterization, Insufficiency of the students' resources for their studies. Proposed intervention. Provision of the learning kits. Adapt the child and sponsorship. TA needed. Look for a potential donor or sponsor. From whom? School head and teachers. And the date is year round. For partnership. Characterization. Delayed retrieval of LMs and submission of outputs. Proposed intervention. Constant communication with parents or guardians. TA needed. Device a communication platforms. From whom? School head, teachers, and parents. And the date is year round. Number of temporarily enrolled. Issues encountered. Number one, delayed submission of portfolio. Action taken. Acceptance due to DepEd advisory dated June 26, 2020 and with certification coming from the division house. Constant coordination of class advisors and district house coordinators. No refusal of enrollment due to EFA goals. Action taken. Accept them with the condition of being temporarily enrolled. Prioritize KPI 2. Number of temporarily enrolled. Priorities. 
accommodation, acceptance of learners temporarily enrolled. Curriculum support system. Teacher. Characterization, adherence to EFA goals or education for all. Goals. Proposed intervention, equal treatment just like a regular student. TA needed, coordination with a division ALS on their status. From whom? Division ALS coordinator and school head. Date is year round. Materials, characterization, availability of LMs. Proposed intervention, printing of LMs ahead of time in the covered quarter taken from the link. TA needed, creation of teacher initiative class or LMs in lieu of the delayed LMs. From whom? Subject teacher, LRs, school head and subject coordinator. Date, year round. Assessment, characterization, same assessments with regular students, proposed intervention, regular monitoring and evaluation of student progress. TA needed, provide consideration by stretching. From whom? Division ALS coordinator, school head, and LR coordinator. And the date is year round. Partnership, characterization, communication gap between parents and school. Proposed intervention, strengthen the communication process with parents and guardians. TA needed, device communication platforms. From whom? Parents, teachers, and school heads. Date, quarterly. Least learned competencies, issues encountered, negative attitudes of students towards the modality, action taken, close monitoring through constant communication, impending parents and guardians, attitude to facilitate learning on students, action taken, device simple activity. And subject teacher communicates to the students through different communication platforms. Exhaustion of learners due to bulk of activities. Special consideration is given to the students through stretching of time in answering the activities. Prioritized KPI 3. Less learned competencies. Priorities, mastery of least learned competencies, curriculum support system, teacher, characterization, no additional SLM released for some subject areas in junior high school and senior high school, proposed intervention, teacher made activity sheets and other instructional supplementary materials, TA needed. Activity sheets and other instructional supplementary materials must be validated by the school head and subject coordinator, from whom school head and subject teachers. And the date is whole year round. For the materials, characterization. Insufficient supply of SLMs coming from the school's division office. Proposed intervention. Print out additional 50% of modules to get one is to one of modules for students. TA needed, sources of funds, MOE donations, from whom, school head, LR coordinator, and subject coordinators. Date, whole year round. Assessment, characterization, some skills are least mastered 
with the present modality. Proposed intervention, devise additional comprehensible activities for the least mastered competencies. TA needed, providing short and easy assessment tool from whom school head, subject teachers, and advisors. Date, whole year round. School management leadership. Characterization, lack of learning resources to cope with students in present modality. Proposed intervention, print out additional LMs to provide as references for students. TA needed, feedbacking from whom? School head and subject teacher. Date, whole year round. Partnership, characterization, impending parents, guardians attitude to facilitate learning on students. Proposed intervention, device simple activity and subject teachers communicate to, to the students through the different communication platform. TA needed provision of communication platforms from whom school head and subject teacher. Date, whole year round. Field validation. Summary of quarterly accomplishments. Under LCP, RISO master paper, three rows, ink, 11 tubes, and fully accomplished, which is needed for the printing of SLMs, last, and summative test, with a total actual amount utilized, 22,971 pesos, it has been fully utilized. SIP AIP Timing of School Landmark It has been completed and the actual amount utilized is 15,000 with 100% utilization. Repair of Accounting Office Repair of Comfort Room and repair of gutter. It has been fully accomplished and it is needed for maintenance of school facilities. Actual amount utilized is 22,500 and with 100% utilization. Installation of solar lights, three pieces, fully accomplished and it is needed for school outdoor lighting and additional security with the actual amount utilized which is 9,500 pesos with 100% utilization. Internet installation accomplished and it is needed for additional internet connectivity for administrative and academic use. Actual amount utilized is 6,500 pesos with 100% utilization. Purchasing of laptop. One piece. Accomplished and it is needed for administrative use. Total, total actual amount utilized is 31,850 pesos. For utilization is 100%. Construction of flower box. It has been fully accomplished and it is needed for school beautification. Total actual amount utilized is 15,000 pesos with 100% utilization. For the summary, facilitating factors, openness and willingness of parents to participate in this endeavor. Number two, genuine willingness and collaboration among teachers. Three, full support of external stakeholders. Four, availability of budget. 
pipe, practice proper health and safety protocols, and six, transparency of school resources, hindering factors, inclement weather condition, two, presence of pandemic or the COVID-19, three, behavior of parents, four, behavior of students, or the what we call pabaya-baya system. Five, distance from home to school. And number six, reliability of learning gain by learners out of the SLMs. That would be all for our school presentation of our school monitoring evaluation and adjustment. Because as the challenge escalates, the need for teamwork elevates. John C. Maxwell. Thank you and God bless us all.